Hey guys, what's going on? It's Scarlet, and today I'm going to show you how to install some shader packs for Twilight Princess. If you want to replay the game again, or just play for the first time, this is the way to do it if you have a PC. Now, this is way better than the HD version that just came out. It's way better, and you don't have to pay any money. It's totally free. Everything in this video is free, so let's just get started. This download link will be in the description for you guys and um, you're going to want to download the last one if you're going to play the GameCube version which I highly recommend because I wouldn't recommend playing a Wii version on the computer that'd be just weird as soon as you download it I'm going to exit out of here I already have it up here um, you're going to extract it to your desktop and you're going to come up with this forget the readme seriously because I'm going to teach you how to do it so the first thing you'll see here is um, all this. You're going to want to click on the TPHD version 1.0.2. You're going to click that. Now, as soon as you go in here, I already have it set up, but it's going to be um, you're going to click this and you're going to choose where it's going to gather ISOs from. Now, if you don't have ISOs of games, you're simply going to go to Emu Paradise and click it and then just search up Twilight princess and you're going to get it right here legend of zelda twilight princess it's going to be yeah this one <laughs> for the gamecube super easy to find just press download links and you just follow it from here uh yeah i'm not going to download it because i already have it and i already added it to my directory so as soon as that happens um we're it's the the shaders are already pre-installed in the download so what you're going to do I already have Ocarina and Time in here too. So what you're going to do is click this, right click it, go to properties. If you want to make this work right. First of all, first thing you're going to do is enable the Hyrule Field Speed hack. You need this. It's not really a hack. It's a fix. Um, Hyrule Field is very laggy and this is the way to fix it. So if you don't have this checked, you're going to have lots of problems when you play it. Um, go to AR codes. You can really just tweak whatever you want in here. Um, I always have no notification first time you collect a ruby and really, right, <laughs> this is important. All right. So you're going to, um, you're going to add this widescreen hack. This is the code. So if you need the code, pause this video and type in this code. Um, I, I, it might be pre-installed, but for me it wasn't, so I added it myself. So this is the code. You're going to click add right here, and you're going to add this code to make it look better. Um, I'm pretty sure it might be pre-installed, but for me it wasn't for some reason, so I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, Gecko codes, file system, you, have to you don't really have to worry about that. So as soon as you're done with that, go to graphics. Now, it really depends what kind of um, processor you have. Uh, you really want to use a dedicated GPU. I mean, Intel graphics, I don't really think is going to work on the shader pack. It would work on the game, but not really the shader pack. So I have a GTX 1070, so that would work. Uh, for this, you'll be fine with uh, DirectX 11. I had no problems with it. My graphic card supports DirectX 12, but I don't really need to use that. For this, 416 by 9. Always force it. Um, you don't want the uh, the slim four three screen and um, that widescreen hack that I mentioned earlier will fix whatever and here you're going to select if you have a 1080p monitor always select this one um, if you have a graphic card like mine bump up all the settings widescreen okay yeah we already enabled that in the um, other part you don't have to worry about anything else just enable what you need and you're going to go to post processing the shader that you want is vanilla high but if you know if you're crazy, you could do Vanilla Ultra if you really want. But I'm pretty sure this pack comes with Vanilla High. So we're just going to stick with that. And we're going to press Add. And really, that's about it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab my PS4 controller, wherever that may be. It's right here. And we're going to launch the game. Audio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, shit. Um, I'll be right back. And we're back. That was not the emulator's fault. That was my voice program fucking up. But uh, yeah, if it all works, you should come up with a screen like this. And we're just going to press 
a button. My PS4 controller works, so if you have one of those, good for you. Um, you can also use really any USB controller and plug into your computer. I wouldn't really recommend playing with the keyboard and mouse. It just... It doesn't really work that great. I'll just tell you that. And if you get this, the Twilight Princess HD project, you've done it right. Now, um, we're going to load in a game. They gave us a pre-built game, but you can obviously just make a new quest log if you really want to play it through. We're just going to go into this pre-built game and check it out. I'm not using full screen because it might fuck up my recording or something, but this is going to take a little bit to load because... Oh, never mind. It loaded pretty quickly. And here we go. We're in Hyrule Field. And this is absolutely fucking gorgeous. Um, I really don't know what else to say. This game's already 100% completed, but you could just make your own game. And uh, if you go in a full screen, this Y screen hat really works out. Um, there's no like fat link or whatever you want to call it. Because at first I didn't enable this widescreen screen hack and everything was distorted and fat and I had a fat link. And it didn't really look pretty. So, if you see here, we're just playing it normally. It's locked at 30 FPS. Um, if you have a GPU like mine, it won't lag. I've never had any problems. I've never tried Intel graphics, but hey, if you don't have a dedicated GPU, just try it out, you know? You never know what you can get. Um, and yeah, that's all I really got for you. Thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you in future videos. Take care.